very practical program. Students learn right away taking the pulse, a very effective way of diagnosing a patient. And they learn how this pulse diagnosis can give them an analysis, very personal. This is personalized medicine. And once they have that personalized viewpoint of the individual, what his balance and imbalances are, then they can give him various recommendations, whether it's diet, whether it's exercise, whether it's particular changes in lifestyle. There is no standard regimen diet that fits with all of them. This is the key here for as any, with any Ayurvedic principle, it's always customized. So it is very important for you to know the nature of Agni in the client you see and then determine the possibilities. That's how only you will be able to give a prevention program. And as a collection of cells, we have tissues, then we have organs, and we have organ systems. And they're all busy maintaining balance, maintaining life. They're all busy doing something and that creates vibration, that creates activity. And all of that activity is centered in the heart. So what we're feeling in the pulse is the sum total of the vibration of the entire mind-body system. Everything. So it's quite a wonderful system and it's so simple. It's just right there on the wrist and you've got these three fingers and it's, it's quite a remarkable process you'll be learning. So get rid of ama first and then gives nourishing food for vata. Pitta, they can digest very well so for them it's not a problem. And then kapha, Instead of giving more nourishing food, give more like lighter food, but whole grains. Play into your client's strengths, your patient's strengths. You know, what's their fortuity? What do they love to do? What, you know, if they're overweight, but they love to do ballet dancing, use that as a strength because you, you can really help them empower themselves. And opportunities. What are opportunities for learning? How can you bring them closer to the knowledge that you know? How can you plug them into different modalities? How can you have that client have the best possible care that you and a partner can bring into? We are learning in Maharshi Ayurveda that when we can become aware of those cycles of nature, those laws of nature that support the natural healing, health, vitality, clarity, energy, of the body, then if we follow those principles, then we can really maintain good, good health for a long time. And when you just can't get enough blood, the, the heart muscle is screaming, I'm dying, or I'm suffocating, I'm not getting enough oxygen and nutrition. And that scream of the muscle is the pain of angina. And that scream, scream can be of three types. It can be a fiery scream, you're burning me up, uh, it can be uh, it can be a, a nervous scream. I really feel anxious, and the end of the world is coming, doomsday, uh, and and kind of sh shooting pains. Or that cry of the heart can be dull and heavy, like a weight. People sometimes say there's a weight on their chest. So we have that unique ability with the human nervous system to reflect that infinite value of life. And in order to do that, we have to have a system that is so intricate that with the proper functioning of all the aspects of that system, then infinity is established and consciousness comes to know itself again. All other parts of the brain send information to the prefrontal cortex. And so this part of the brain is important for attention, it's important for decision-making, short-term memory, executive functioning. Now a very critical point is stress takes the prefrontal cortex offline. So under stress, that part of the brain that organizes and directs our thinking and our action is not available. Of course there's the wide spectrum of herbal um, treatment programs, which now science is absolutely verifying the effectiveness of these programs. There are literally thousands of new studies that have just come out to show how these ancient programs are now being understood scientifically.